Yom Hadin is rapidly approaching. We already started saying Slichos, Amote Shabbos. And this time of year can be very daunting, very overwhelming. How am I going to change? How am I going to grow? How am I going to do tshuva? A tshuva that lasts, that sticks. All these thoughts can be circulating in our heads and our minds. And we can feel a sense of yeish. What are we supposed to do? Rav Pam, the Chatzarek Lebracha, the great Rosh Yeshiva, offers us with great practical advice. Rav Pam tells us we should pick one or two areas that we could work on. Pick one mitzvah. Designate one area that I could work on, that I could develop, that I could grow. And as the Gemara tells us, if somebody comes to purify themselves, they get siyata deshma in the process. Let's pick that one area. And once we do that, and we start to change, we start to realize, I can and I must do more. I'm a person that could grow. I'm a person that has she'ifus. I'm a person that doesn't have to stay the same and dormant and confused. I already worked on one area, and now I want another, and another, and another. And then Amir Tashem, we live as growth-minded individuals. We become thirsty, hungry for more opportunities, one step, one area at a time. So Bezrat Hashem, in these precious and holy days, we should have that strength to identify one or two areas that we could really work on. Take it on. Slowly, incrementally, and Bezrat Hashem will taste success, a success that lasts and that motivates and propels us to then take on another one and another one. And Bezrat Hashem, we will go Mechayel El Chayel.